National University of Kiev Mohyla Academy Nakma Ukrainian Nacionalnij Universitet Kievo Mogilanska Akademia Nakma Nacionalny Universitet Kievo Mohylianska Akademia is a national coeducational research university located in Kiev Ukraine The Kiev Mohyla Academy the school's predecessor was established in 1615 The Nakma is located on the academy's grounds in the ancient Podol neighborhood in 1991, it was reorganized, and teaching began the following year. Nakma has the highest level of accreditation as outlined by the Ministry of Education and Science of Ukraine, and is one of the 13 educational institutions in Ukraine having a status of a research and autonomous university. Nakma takes part in numerous international university collaborations, such as the European University Association. The university is bilingual in Ukrainian and English. It is one of Ukraine's few universities with internationally recognized diplomas. With around 3,000 students, Nakma is one of the smallest universities in Ukraine. Alumni of the Kiev Mohyla Academy played a formative role in the intellectual and church life of Ukraine and Russia in 17th and 18th centuries. Among the most notable alumni were Hetman Ivan Mazepa and philosopher Ryhori Skovoroda. The university is known as pro-Western and served as headquarters for Orange Revolution activists. History Foundation of the Kiev Mohyla Academy The predecessor of today's National University of Kiev Mohyla Academy was one of the oldest academic and theological schools amongst the Orthodox Christian countries of Eastern Europe. The academy was first opened in 1615 as the school of the Kiev Bratstvo Brotherhood. When, in 1632, the Kiev Pechersk Lavra School and Kiev Brotherhood School merged they formed Kiev's, and by extension Ukraine's, first institution of higher education. The newly formed Collegium, then located in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth was given the Polish name Mohylanska Latin, Collegium Kiovens Mohylianum, in honor of Petro Mohyla, a key figure in bringing about the institution's foundation and proponent of modern Western educational standards at the Academy. In 1658 under the terms of the Treaty of Hadiak the Collegium obtained the status of an Academy, similar to the Krakow Academy, at that time the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth's premier university. Later, in 1694, it was also recognized as an academy by the Russian Tsar Ivan V. This was later reaffirmed by his brother and successor, Peter the Great. Subsequently, during the 17th and 18th centuries the academy was known for its education of the Russian and Ukrainian political and intellectual elites. It was highly acclaimed throughout Eastern Europe and accepted students of all classes and backgrounds from the territories of modern-day Ukraine, Russia, Poland, Belarus, Romania, Serbia, Bulgaria and Greece. In particular the Hetmans, military leaders of the famed Zaporozhian Cossacks, were benefactors of and actively supported the Kiev Mohyla Academy. The school flourished under the term of Hetman Ivan Mazepa, an alumnus, and was later able to support the foundation of a number of other colleges built on its model, such as the Vasilian College in Moldavia. Due to the exceptional quality of the language program many of the Kiev Mohyla Academy's students continued their education abroad, which at the time meant many of them were required to convert from the Orthodox faith to Roman Catholicism. Despite this, many returning alumni readopted the Orthodox religion, as this was necessary in order to attain positions in the clergy or academia. By sending so many of its graduates abroad the Kiev Mohyla Academy played a vital role in facilitating the transfer of knowledge eastwards across Europe and popularizing the Renaissance both in Ukraine and Russia. Closure and reopening as the Kiev Theological Academy By the late 18th century Kiev and its surrounding lands had become part of the Russian Empire and in 1817 Tsar Alexander I of Russia made the decision to close the academy. In response to this move a large number of the academy's alumni petitioned the monarch, albeit unsuccessfully, to turn the Kiev Mohyla Academy into a formal university. Instead, in 1819, the academy was turned over to the church and transformed into the Kiev Theological Academy, a purely clerical institution. 
During this time, admission to the academy was open only to children of the existing clergy and key positions were held mostly by alumni of the St. Petersburg Seminary, with the passing years the need for a new, modern, institution of the higher education in Kiev became apparent and the Tsar's ministers began to consider the establishment of such a school. It would, however, take a long time before the actual opening of a university in the city and when it finally did occur it did not come in the form of a reopened Kiev Mohyla Academy but in the foundation of an entirely new secular university, the St. Vladimir University founded in 1834 on the orders of the Tsar Nicholas I. Topic. During the Soviet era With the success of the October Revolution of 1917 and subsequent establishment of the Soviet Union, atheism became the only state-sanctioned belief system and the Church along with its associated organs were repressed. Shortly thereafter the authorities of the newly proclaimed Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic ordered the closure of the Kiev Theological Academy, its library was later plundered and the main church of the school, the Bogoyevlensky Cathedral, was demolished with explosives in 1935. The premises of the disbanded theological college were later used for a new Soviet military education facility, the Kiev Higher Naval Political School Russian, Kievsko Vysi Veno Morsko Politicesko Usilize the only naval academy that trained specialist political commissars for the Soviet Navy. To this day one of the university's buildings still bears a mosaic portraying a warship, academic badge and open book displaying quotes by Vladimir Lenin. Upon the re-establishment of Nakma in 1992 a conscious decision was made to retain this mosaic as a visible reminder of the site's prior usage and totalitarian past. <laughs> Since Ukrainian independence Following Perestroika and the fall of the USSR in 1991, the Kiev Mohyla Academy was re-established. This was made possible through the efforts of Vyacheslav Bryakovetsky, a high-profile Ukrainian academic, who later became the first president of the National University of Kiev Mohyla Academy The re-established institution became the first Ukrainian educational institution to be modeled on and structured according to the basic concepts of the North American higher educational system, with bachelor's and master's degrees offered according to the requirements of an academic credit system. On 24 August 1992 the first anniversary of Ukraine's independence, the first cohort of students matriculated at Nakma, and by June 1995 the first six graduates of the reborn Kiev Mohyla Academy had received their degrees. Since then, Nakma's reputation for academic excellence has become well known throughout Ukraine. The university is now consistently ranked as one of the country's top educational institutions. In 1994 Nakma was a key lobbyist for and partner in the revival of another historically noteworthy Ukrainian educational institution, the Ostro Academy. Today the Ostro Academy maintains strong links to Nakma and, in the year 2000, joined it as one of Ukraine's 19 national research universities. The Nakma widely got to be known for being the first university of which students and professors among the other parties of the Orange Revolution in Kiev openly protested against the massive electoral selection fraud during the Ukrainian presidential election in 2004. After those events a museum dedicated to the Orange Revolution Pomeranchova Revolizia UKR was opened at the Nakma. Topic Claims of continuity with the old Kiev Mohyla Academy Based on its ties to the ancient Mohyla Academy, Nakma claims to be the oldest institution of higher education in Kiev and all of Ukraine, however this is disputed on the grounds that Nakma has formally existed as a modern university since only 1991, and experienced a long break of 174 years in its history. Other claimants to the university's title include Lviv University, founded in 1661, which holds the undisputed record for being the oldest continuously operating university in Ukraine, and Taras Shevchenko National University of Kiev, established in 1834, which is the oldest continuously operating higher educational institution in the nation's capital, Kiev. The research center, Legacy of Kiev Mohyla Academy 
was founded in 1992 to research the 450-year history of the Mohila Academy and promote Nakma's claim to continuity with the traditions of the old Mohila Academy. Besides Nakma, there are two modern theological schools which claim continuity with the academic traditions of the old Kiev Mohila Academy. These are the Kiev Theological Academy and Seminary of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church Moscow Patriarchate and the Kiev Orthodox Theological Academy of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church Kiev Patriarchate. Topic: Academics. Topic: Profile. Nakma holds the highest accreditation level given by the Ministry of Education and Science of Ukraine and is organized similarly to North American post-secondary institutions. The academic year runs on a trimester system with the longer fall and spring trimesters and a short summer trimester. Fall and spring terms include an extra week of independent study which is aimed to assist students needing to catch up with their coursework and prepare for exams. During undergraduate study students have an academic major and can choose either a minor or electives. Each course is assigned a number of credits based on credit hours and grading is done on a 100-point scale. Nakma bachelor's degree holders can continue their studies in any of the master's programs at the university. Graduate academic programs leading to a Master of Business Administration, Candidate of Science PhD, and Doctor of Science are also offered at Nakma. The university was first in Ukraine to join the reforms of the doctoral education within the Bologna process. Nakma is a bilingual institution with Ukrainian and English being the languages of instruction, although the primary language is Ukrainian. The university offers business courses in English to the general public, in partnership with Grant McEwen College of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Nakma organizes an annual summer school in Ukrainian studies for international students and an English language term program for international students entitled, Transitional Studies, Ukraine and Post-Soviet Space. Recently a master program, German and European Studies, is offered in collaboration with the University of Jena. The program is offered in German, similarly to other public universities in Ukraine. Students receive modest monthly scholarship payments from the government. The amount varies according to the students' grades in the previous trimester. Additionally, a number of private scholarships are given to the best students on a merit system. Further, students are rewarded scholarship money for their social activities, thus awards are given to those who make the greatest contribution to the revival of Nakma or to those who excel in the promotion of Ukrainian language and culture. Nakma is a state university and governed by the supervising board appointed by the government of Ukraine. The highest university official is the president of Nakma, who is Professor Serhii Mkvit. Education and research at the university are coordinated by the scientific board. Several public bodies consult the management of the university. These include the International Consulting Board, Board of Trustees, Student Council and Arts Board. Admissions. Admission to Nakma is open to both Ukrainian and international applicants. Admission is granted based on entrance examination scores. Entrance exams are administered as multiple choice tests covering several subjects including Ukrainian, English, law, mathematics, history of the Kiev Mohyla Academy, humanities, literature or history, and natural science with the tests being machine scored. The admissions procedure was introduced in order to stem alleged corruption in the admission process. Admission tests are considered challenging and cover a broader range of subjects than the typical entrance examinations held at the majority of other universities in Ukraine. Testing the knowledge of history of the Kiev Mohyla Academy is exceptional among Ukrainian universities. It was introduced because of the role of the university in Ukrainian history. The university also has a department of pre-university training, which organizes test preparation courses for prospective students as well as trial testing sessions. Reputation In 2009 Delavoy magazine ranked Nakma as the second best university in Ukraine, being nationally the strongest in humanities, third best in economics and second best in law. 
According to the independent ranking of 228 universities in Ukraine performed by Compass, Nakma was ranked second best in Ukraine regarding the adequacy of alumni to the labor market of Ukraine. In 2007, both the Ministry of Education and Science of Ukraine and the Jerkalo Tiznia, a weekly national newspaper ranked Nakma in third place among the Ukrainian universities. Likewise, the university's business school has the best reputation in the country. The Delavoy magazine ranked the Kiev Mohyla Business School as the best business school in Ukraine in 2007. Nakma was ranked as number four in the ranking, Top 200 Ukraine, conducted by UNESCO in 2007. In the International Webometrics Ranking of World Universities, the university features at 2055 out of 8,000 ranked institutions and second best among Ukrainian universities. Nakma often hosts visits of foreign and national politicians. Among the latest visitors were Yap de Hoop Sheffer, Alejandro Toledo, David Kilger and Jean Cradien. Nakma in the rankings of universities in Ukraine. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Institutions associated with Nakma. Following its re-establishment, Nakma has been active in the revival and founding of institutions sharing a common vision of educational standards. Thus, Nakma assisted with the development of the National University of Ostro Academy, the Taras Shevchenko Pedagogical University of Kremenes, and the Petro Mohyla State University of Mykolaiv until they became separate independent universities. However, these schools still share a common admissions system with Nakma. Moreover, Nakma is an umbrella institution for a network of high schools throughout Ukraine called the Collegiums. The curricula of collegiums aim to prepare the students for the Nakma entrance exams. The university publishing house, Kiev Mohyla Academy, which specializes in publishing scientific and educational literature in Ukraine, is situated on the Nakma campus. <laughs> <laughs> Foreign partner universities the university maintains relations with a number of partner universities both through formal bilateral agreements and schemes like Erasmus Mundus. Current bilateral agreements are outlined below. Research Science at NACMA is organized into six faculties, 29 departments and 24 research centers. An annual scientific conference DNI Naki Nakma the Days of Science at Nakma takes place in the last week of January. The main focus of research at the Nakma is in the fields of economics, law and humanities. Many faculty members hold permanent positions at the research institutes of the National Academy of Science of Ukraine and Nakma students are allowed to use its facilities for scientific and educational purposes. Topic. Libraries The library of the old Kiev Mohyla Academy contained a notable collection of the books. However, the archive was plundered in 1920s when the academy was closed. The university administration focuses on creating a research library equipped to modern standards. In addition to the central undergraduate library there is a number of the departmental libraries as well as reading halls for research and periodicals. Further, several international cultural organizations such as the Goethe Institute, British Council and, American Library are located on campus premises and are open to the public. Also all the Nakma students have an access to the Vernadsky National Library of Ukraine. <laughs> campus The university occupies the grounds of the Kiev Mohyla Academy in the Podol neighborhood, from Kontraktova Square to the Dnieper River. The campus of Nakma is composed of a number of buildings constructed in the times of its predecessor institutions. The oldest buildings date from the 17th century, and include the Halshka Hulevichivna House and the old academic building also called the Mazepa Building in honor of its financier Hetman Ivan Mazepa. The Mazepa building contains the Congregation Hall for ceremonial events, the Center for Contemporary Art and the Research Library, in the same neighborhood as the historical museum complex of the Kiev Mohyla Academy, although the building is undergoing renovation. The complex contains a sundial and the house of Halshka Hulevichivna, which was the first building of the Kiev Brotherhood School. 
Another historical building called the Bursa faces the Dnieper River and was used as a student dormitory during the time of the Kiev Mohyla Academy. The Blahovyshenska Annunciation Church built in 1740 for students is also on the Nakhma campus. Most other buildings were constructed during the time of Kiev Theological Academy with some additions made during the Soviet era. The dormitories are situated outside the main campus. An environmentally friendly office called the Green Office was recently opened at the Department of Environmental Studies at Nakhma and uses modern energy saving and environmentally friendly technologies. The project was largely the initiative of students and is the first example of an office based on sustainable development in a Ukrainian educational institution. University traditions Following re-establishment, the Nakhma academic community has attempted to restore the traditions of its predecessor. However, during Nakhma's reincarnation, several new traditions have been founded. Every year on 15 October the school celebrates Academy Day and Nakhma students wash the monument of the noted Kiev Mohyla alumnus philosopher Raihori Skovoroda. This action is called Clean Skovoroda. The monument of Skovoroda in front of the university is also decorated with a mortarboard during the annual graduation ceremony held on 28 June. Another tradition during the ceremony is to carry the university turtle named Alma around the new graduates who make wishes while touching her shell. A student tradition connecting the old Kiev Mohyla Academy and Nakhma is theatrical performances called verdips. Verdips possibly were introduced by the students of the old academy. They are performed during different festive events. Lastly, it is a tradition to open each academic year with a welcome event for the new students, followed by a lecture by a renowned scientist, who is given an honorary professorship at the university. The ceremony of new Nakma student initiation includes taking a traditional student oath. During the first term at Nakma, students of all faculties introduce themselves to the academic community during the acquaintance ball. Student life Despite the relatively small number of Nakma students about 3,000 in 2006 there are a number of extracurricular activities on campus. Nakma students are also known for their activism, which is also supported by the university administration. Notable among the student organizations on campus are, the Student Council, the Christian Students' Union, Mohyla Intellectual Club, the Student Brotherhood, the Ecological Club Zelina Havalia, and the Youth Center for Humanities. The Nakma student portal Bo, Net, UA is an online platform for student and alumni communication. Sports courses are compulsory for Nakma students in their two years of study. These courses include elements of calisthenics, sport, soccer, basketball, volleyball and swimming, and fitness exercises. Additionally, there are a number of student sport groups ranging from combat hopak to go. Arts and music at Nakma are represented by the Center of Culture and Art and the Center for Contemporary Art. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Kiev Mohyla Academy in Literature and Popular Culture. Kiev Mohyla Academy is mentioned in a number of novels. The main characters of Nikolai Gogol's novel Taras Bulba Ostap and Andriy Bulba were alumni of the old Kiev Mohyla Academy. Kiev Mohyla Collegium is mentioned in several novels by Pavlo Zarebelny including Southern Comfort and I, Bodin. Kiev Theological Academy is mentioned in Nikolai Leskov's Pechersky Antiki. Student life in the contemporary Kiev Mohyla Academy is described in a novel high school student. Freshman, Startoklasnika Perzikersnika by Anastasia Levkova, to note the importance of the university in Ukraine's history, a postage stamp dedicated to Kiev Mohyla Academy and its revival was issued in 1992. Moreover, a building of Kiev Mohyla Academy is portrayed on the 500 Hariven banknote. <laughs> Notable alumni and faculty members Alumni of the old Kiev Mohyla Academy have played an important role in Ukrainian professional life. Many hetmans of Zaporozhian Cossacks, political leaders of Ukraine in the 17th and 18th centuries, were educated here. These include Ivan Mazepa, Pilop Orlik, Pavlo Polubatok, Ivan Skoropadsky and Ivan Samoylovich. 
The Grand Chancellor of Russia Alexander Bezborodko was of Ukrainian origin and an alumnus. The Kiev Mohyla Academy was a religious school of note in the Orthodox world and archbishops of the Russian Empire such as Stephen Yavorsky and Favon Prokopovich as well as the Metropolitan Bishop of Rostov Dmitry of Rostov were all alumni. More recently, several generations of writers, artists and scholars have been schooled at the Kiev Mohyla Academy. Examples include writer Simeon of Polotsk, architect Ivan Ryhorovich Barsky, and composer Artemy Videl. Ukrainian philosopher Ryhori Skovoroda was another alumnus of the university. Mikhail Lomonosov, Russian scientist and founder of Moscow University was briefly a student at Kiev Mohyla Academy. After 1819, when the university was turned into a purely religious institution, it still upheld its international reputation and has been an alma mater for the Moldavian poet Alexei Mativici and Metropolitan Bishop of the Romanian Orthodox Church Vissarion Puyu. Alumni of NACMA are employed by national and international companies, research and governmental institutions and many graduates continue their studies abroad. Journalist and politician Andriy Shevchenko and the contemporary Ukrainian writer Marina Sokolian studied at NACMA. See also Economics Education and Research Consortium List of universities, colleges, and research institutions in Kiev Open access in Ukraine